I will say that I'm not shocked or disappointed in I'm not shocked or disappointed in what um to be honest in what uh Warner Brothers did with not doing anything for the 30th anniversary of the game to be fair I mean like I said I think I discussed this in a it might have been in a book club or bonus episode and Lyra and I kind of went about it or it might have been offline I honestly don't remember but um to kind of get into like to discuss that like it doesn't surprise me because to keep it a buck with y'all Warner Brothers doesn't give a fuck about their up uh, all the stuff they require from Midway they didn't really give a shit about, to be honest with y'all. I truly think they didn't care. Because, like, you could, con you know, they could have, you know, NFL Blitz got tricked off the EA. EA's done nothing with it since. Um, the Arcade 1-Up did come out, but um, reading up on how those games come back out, the reason why is because the Arcade cabinets are considered, like, toys. So with a toy deal, it's quick. You just do one toy, do a release. You say, I'm putting this amount of items out. We, you know, the revenue should be projected to be this amount of money, and that's it. And everybody gets their bread. That's why Capcom was able to, you know, do the Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and all the Marvel vs. Capcom fighting games for um, for the 1-Up because of that exact reason. Um, but, yeah, like, to be honest, that's the reason why. That's the reason why they were able to do every, everything in regards to that. Shout out to Royal on the follow. Shout out to Patrick Pryor on the follow, my guy. Barstool need to stop stealing. Barstool fucked up for stealing your tweets. Shout out to my guy Mo and peace and love to and appreciate you, bro. Um, but yeah, to kind of go back to you know following off of what I was saying, I'm I'm not shocked, but I'm also disappointed because Mortal Kombat really changed fighting games and gaming in general, just in regards to the because it was violent but also real, you know. Obviously, the gameplay, the characters, they were, they had an identities. I mean, the art style, like, there's just so much that it changed, you know, with f not only fighting games, but just games in general. So, it's disappointing, but like I said, Warner Brothers does not give a shit about all of that. Like, it's literally like, oh, you're making money for us now? Cool. Like, you're Mortal Kombat, you've made money for us for the last, you've been making money and changed video games for the last 20 plus now 30 years but make a new one and get some money off that and maybe put some nostalgia on in those combat packs and that's it because the funny part was with mk11 um with mk11 they were supposed to do a combat i think they were going to do a third combat pack i think earlier this year or late last year and then when it when the you know the chain went up to warner brothers warner brothers said no like Stop doing anything with MK11. We did aftermath because of the pandemic. Like go, possibly because of the pandemic. Go, you know, go follow up and do what you need to do. Like you know what I'm saying. So I think just Warner Brothers is just over and just wants us, wants them to do a new game. To be honest with you, I fully think that's what it is. But I I don't know. I mean, maybe you could have done you know because they've been trying to do remakes there was there, you know aside from the arcade collection on ps3 i mean they, they were supposed to be a hd remake where they were going to kind of just have it you know more it was going to be mortal kombat 1 2 and 3 i think especially mortal kombat 1 and they were going to up they were going to update the graphics and have them like an hd like 4k all type of like with a crazy high res so it was really going to be this game with just the updated version would just you know it's gonna be the same field but just with updated graphics and sounds and everything so um they were supposed to do that that got scrapped i mean there's been so many alleged mortal kombat things they wanted to do with the older stuff and with the with the legacy games that like warner brothers is either scrapped or just didn't care for it because there was one point that they tried to do a kickstarter for the hd remakes and Mid Warner Brothers was like, yeah, we don't give a shit. Like one, they made they made an amount of money where they could pitch it to Warner Brothers, and Warner Brothers still was like, no, <laughs> like we don't care about the old Mortal Kombat game. So that kind of sets the precedent for where we're at now. I mean, all we really got was a video commemorating it. I do like the new logo though, with like all the fighters in it. Like that's a pretty cool, all the fighters like inserted to the dragon. That's a pretty dope idea. But like 
all we really got was a two minute video commemorating it and a Brian Tong interview with Ed Boon, which for what is worth the Ed Boon interview isn't a bad interview at all. Actually, I watched actually I watched all of it. It's like 30 to 35 minutes. It's a pretty quick um it's a pretty quick watch. But he you know he goes a little bit more in depth than I would. Um you know I don't want to spoil the interview if you want to go watch it. But um you know he discusses how the fatalities came about how you know they got the characters you know the ideas for the characters you know because as we know the John Claude Van Damme, Johnny Cage thing. Sonya was the last one inserted because they wanted to put a woman. They wanted to put a female character in the game, which seems you know, to kind of you know switch things up, which is pretty cool because Sonya, damn near, is one of the most popular characters in the series. Was damn near the best character in this game, and I mean, is one of the you know in in a majority of the games that Sonya's in, she's been a pretty good character. So that says you know they blazed the trail with that too. You know, I'm not, you know, obviously Chun Li was there first, but Sonya Blade is also up there, also in regards to like female characters. Um, I was up, but yeah, so I think to be like, yeah, it's just it's disappointing, but at the same time, like, as somebody who knows what Warner Brothers does, because like Warner Brothers clearly doesn't give a fuck about the properties that Midway had. Crazy enough that Mortal Kombat is still making money almost 30 years later, which is, which is proof, and which is just proof of just how much the like how popular this game is and the longevity of it. But they don't care about the legacy stuff. It's just like, all right, we know Mortal Kombat makes the money now, and Just is gonna make the money. I don't know what they're gonna do. Supposedly there's an MK12 that's gonna be announced. Allegedly, who knows? You know, Ed Boon. Ed Boon is smart. You know what I mean? Ed Boon is smart with the trolling and the, you know, with the trolling and giving hints without giving hints and all that other shit. Like, he knows, he knows what to do. Let's just put it that way. Like, he, Ed Boon is very, Ed Boon is very calculated and it has been for forever. So, it, we'll see what happens. I mean, we don't know. I would love maybe a collection of one to three. Maybe a, they're not gonna do a 30th anniversary like Street Fighter. That's absolutely not gonna happen. So just get we should just get that out of the fucking question, out of the, out of the, <laughs> out of the equation. Maybe we'll get a a, a collection of the first, like I said, maybe a collection of the first day at most. Maybe they'll do a 3D collection. I, I don't know. I've seen so many conspiracies of what they can do and what they can't do, but I won't be surprised if we don't get anything. Maybe we'll get a video game announcement and that's it. I mean, a new uh, MK12 or Injustice 3 announcement. I don't know. I mean, the the with the way, like I said, the way Ed Boon moves, and not only that, the way the people at Warner Brothers move with this, like, there's no guarantees and no, there's no guarantees and there's no nothing. Like, we just don't. We'll just see what happens. You know, every early next year or the year after. I mean, there's not. I mean, early. I mean, the end of this year going into early next year. You know, maybe the Game Awards they may announce something. I, I'm not. A, I'm not 100 sure. But I will say though, if you're expecting something, I don't expect anything. But if it was to happen, if we got something like a retro collection or something, I would be fully invested, and I would probably, I would more than likely just buy it just to have the copy. You know, if I could play it on current gen and you know bring that up. Even though playing on Super Nintendo is fun, like this is fun having the actual system. I can't. I'm not gonna pull the system out and show you because. I don't want this shit to stop working, but having the system, you know, having the actual, you know what I mean, just to give you a preview of what's coming up, the physical cartridges, because there's two, three, and UMK3, but, you know, to have these things is, like, you know, awesome to play and, you know, kind of reminisce about, but, okay. um, yeah, so, I mean, with all that being said, we're at a minute and what a, a minute, damn. What an hour and fifty. Uh, about to be over two, a little under two hours, which is actually, I'm pre, I'm pleased that we got that amount of that this done in that amount of time. Like I would have been nervous if this was three hours, which <laughs> at the rate, uh, at the rate MK2 might go, that might happen. But um, honestly, man, appreciate everybody who tapped in. I thank y'all for real. This is only the first episode. We covered the famous Mortal Kombat 1. Um, in the power rankings, obviously, this is probably 
in regards to game quality and fighting and if you want to compare it to like technical gameplay is not at the highest but this game started a whole phenomenon generation community i mean this game mortal kombat changed this game changed the gaming and changed gaming how we all look at it and how people will continue to look at gaming i mean like i said for christ's sakes this game created the esrb like we don't have an esrb if it's not for mortal kombat so um I mean, shout to Ed Boon, shout to John Tobias, shout to Dan Ford, and shout to John Vogel, shout to Midway. Midway is still Midway had a hell of a run in the '90s, man. And this was, this was the, uh, this was one of the, this was the beginning. I don't want to say this is the beginning, but this is what, uh, you know, this is this is the, this was the main, this was the mainstay. So, um, but listen, man, like I said. This is the first episode of Mortal Mondays. Appreciate everybody for tapping in. Appreciate the follows. Pre- appreciate all the everybody in the chat. The chat was active tonight, which I really love. I love you know responding to any questions and any comments being said. So um, follow us at SYWNET. That's SYWNET on all platforms. On Instagram, it's SYW underscore NET. YouTube, Show Your Work Network. We record our live episodes every Thursday. Um, so volume 96 will be Thursday subscribe to the patreon patreon.com slash s y w n e t that's where we have our post games which are after